Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Venus and Adonis, which is a very long poem about Venus, the goddess of love, trying to seduce Adonis, the really good looking Roman soldier. And she's not been having a lot of luck so far. And then he went so far as to like get up and go get his horse. But then his horse saw a mare and decided that it needed to run off after that mare and go do the things that steeds and mares do together off in the woods and the the steed sort of threw Adonis off so he's still sort of stuck there now with Venus and a little bit miffed about it he's annoyed with his horse for running away but this does provide a very good opportunity for her to continue on with her plan which she's going to do today in stanzas 57 to 60 that we're going to take a look at you know the, the horses have just run off into the woods and Adonis is sitting there all, you know, annoyed and everything and stanza 57 picks up saying, he sees her coming and begins to glow even as a dying coal revives with wind and with his bonnet hides his angry brow, looks on the dull earth with disturbed mind, taking no notice that she is nigh for all askance he holds her in his eye. Oh, what a sight it was, wistly to view how she came stealing word boy to note the fighting conflict of her hue how white and red each other did destroy but now her cheek was pale and by and by it flashed forth fire as lightning from the sky now was she just before him as he sat and like a lowly lover down she kneels with one fair hand she heaveth up his hat her other tender hand his fair cheek feels his tenderer cheek receives her soft hand's print, as apt as new-fallen snow takes any dint. Oh, what a war of looks was then between them! Her eyes, petitioners to his eyes suing, his eyes saw her eyes as they had not seen them. Her eyes wooed still, his eyes disdained the wooing, and all this dumb play had his acts made plain with tears which, chorus-like, her eyes did rain. So it feels like the narrator's having a little bit of fun at this point in the poem. Uh, it says, you know, Venus comes back over to Adonis, sort of like creeps up on him, and he tries to hide behind his hat. And she's, you know, she's alternating being pale and flushed with lust, uh, you know, like blushing with lust. She comes back over to him and she kneels down in front of him and she lifts up his hat and she touches his cheek. And then the two of them are looking at each other, but trying not to look at each other. At least he's trying not to look at her. She's trying to like make eyes at him and woo him and all that sort of thing. And he's like pretending that he's not even seeing that. And she starts crying and it's... Yeah, it's getting a little bit ridiculous, but it's not over yet because this is supposed to be comedic. So prepare to laugh some more as she continues to try to woo Adonis. I will see you for more stanzas tomorrow. Mwah.